how are we? Welcome back to our silly little crochet podcast. It's Anna. Um, it's been a second. I've missed you guys. Um, but we are back better than ever, ready to talk about so many things, so many projects, so much yarn, all of it. So, um, I, yeah, I have like a lot to catch you guys up on. I don't know. Um, I've been working on so many projects. I feel like I can't, like, I don't want to show you guys them until like I'm done working on them but I need to like get over that mindset. I just need to like talk about projects that I'm doing. Um, some of them, not all of them. I, all of them I can't, but I need to stop trying to surprise everyone all the time. I just, I love surprises, um, good surprises. So I always want to surprise everyone else, but I'm just going to let that go. And I'm going to tell you guys what I've been working on, um, and all that good stuff. And of course, per usual, please tell me what you guys are working on. Um, and all that good stuff because I love hearing about it but I don't know I feel like oh well, first of all I've put a ban on starting new projects because <laughs> I have too many I have things I need to get done um, and I kept starting projects and I was getting like really overwhelmed so I finally was like Anna you gotta <laughs> you gotta draw a line somewhere please so I finally did and I am just working on um, what I have currently so I'm working on a pretty big project for like a collab thing I have coming up at the end of the month, beginning of December sort of thing. So I can't really talk about that because we didn't really discuss how much I'd talk about, but I will talk about it as soon as I can. So I've been spending probably not enough time on that, but a good amount of time working on that project. And then I have another project that is another collab that once again, it's not as, um, I don't know, secretive. But once again, don't know if I want to talk about it. Um, but it's me. That that club, I will say, it's me and someone who, um, she's a TikToker. I'll say that and see if you guys can put it together on who it is. So I have those two projects going currently. And then I finally, okay, this is, this is what I was talking about. Of like, I don't know if I want to talk about it or just surprise you. But I think I'm just going to talk about it because I made a TikTok about it. So I'm making a Taylor's of cardigan but red so I'm using red yarn obviously and then all the accents will be in this like nice brown color um and so it's really fun so I learned how to do cables and I'm just slowly working my way through it um and I'm very excited about it. I'm so excited but it definitely takes a while so I'm going to try to get a couple of rows done today because I want to post like a whip picture on Friday when she puts out the red re-release because I think that would be so cute right so I'm going to try to work more on that I don't know how much I'll be able to do during the video because there's so much like counting and stuff but I do have it in front of me that's the current project du jour um but I'm so, I'm so excited about it. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out like um, what stitches to use and like learning how to do different things um, and making sure that it's perfect. Like for this, I have um, I have a lifeline through it, right where the ribbing is, like right here, because uh, there is absolutely no way I'm gonna risk messing this up. No way. Um, the body is way too intricate for me to have to like start over excuse me start over ribbing included like that's definitely not happening so that's like my current favorite project I'd say and then I started a hat because I forgot all of my hats basically at home uh when I came to school and it started to get a little bit cold out so making a hat <laughs> because when you have the things to make it you just do it why go buy one you know what I mean so I started that um but it's just sort of laying on my floor if I'm being honest um so probably should work on that too because it shouldn't take too long. It should be like a pretty decently quick project. Um, and I think that is it. I think these are the only projects I have going currently. Oh, well, I have another sweater project that I've had on and off since literally August. I'm dying to finish it because I really want to write a pattern for it. But I just haven't, um, never got around to finishing it, so... Fingers crossed that one will be soon as well because I really enjoy the way it's coming out but I have other things I need to put my energy into at the moment so um, that's what I have going on. Those are my whips. I wish I could show you more of them 
um, but I will talk about them as soon as I can. And then I really don't have new yarn, which is a bummer, but once again, the whole not starting new projects thing, um, don't want to get yarn and let it sit around because I simply, I don't have room in my dorm anymore. I really don't. I've run out of yarn storage space and I actually have shelves, like I ordered these wire shelf bucket things um, and command hooks that I'm going to like put the hooks up and like because it's wire you can just like, I'm hoping I could just like plop it on to the, um, plop it on to like the hooks or whatever. I don't know where I was going with that sentence, but I want to, I hope that works out because I do need more storage. Most of my projects get really tangled if I just like dump them in the same bin. So for my whips, I want to have like a place that I can like put them designated like one or two per basket or something. So um, that's like my excitement right now um, is knowing I can go pick up my shelves or my um, baskets from the post office tomorrow morning. Um, but that's just a long way of me saying I don't have new yarn because I don't even have, I don't have space for it. So I, um, you know, not tempting myself, I guess. Um, so yeah, that is all of that. Um, in terms of things that I've been watching recently, not much. Um, I'm still watching Gilmore Girls, but I'm kind of taking a break from it because I got a little bit bored, but I can feel myself starting to want to watch it again. So I'm excited for that because I do really, really want to finish it. Um, my boyfriend and I are watching You together, season three. We're very behind. We were watching Squid Game together. Um, and because we're long distance, we do it like on Netflix party, but then it takes, you know, a while to find a common time when two kids are at college. So, um, I will let you know when I finish that. We just finished the other day episode three. So, um, so far so good. But I don't know. Um, still listening to a lot of Taylor Swift. I honestly am a person of habit. I listen to all of the same things all of the time. I don't really stray from what's on my playlist. Um, but when you guys are watching this, just know I'm fully anticipating of counting down the little moments till midnight because I will be staying up and listening to the Red Re release. I'll be watching that all too well short film you know I will. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm preparing to enter my red era for music. Podcasts, been listening to the same ones. You can sit with us. Anything goes. Try Guys podcast. Um, those are my three big ones. And then here and there I'll dabble in others. I really like Crazy Stupid Fangirls. Sometimes I'll listen to Crime Junkie. Um, but just have not been gravitating towards it in general. And then what am I missing? YouTube whatever pops up on, on my explore feed to be honest um that's like that's always random I feel like I haven't been watching like the people I'm subscribed to a lot like I do but it's more just like oh my god that video looks interesting on my explore feed so watch it um so that's how I've been staying entertained mainly um those are my projects that's my entertainment that's what's going on um so please fill me in on you guys obviously I want to know what you're working on what you're watching um, just like chit chat with me. I love talking with you. So, um, let me know in the comments. But I figured, um, because you guys probably noticed, you, maybe you didn't, that's whatever. Um, I haven't posted the past two weeks, um, because college is like literally so hard. I'm, I just feel like I am busy literally nonstop all the time. Um, and it just kind of caught up to me. And I just felt so burnt out last week because I was going to make a video about crochet burnout, like talking about it. And like, I, I didn't know if I was going to be making it like video style or if I was going to do it like this, like podcast style. Um, but I just, I could not, I could not even think about the word crochet, you know what I mean? Um, but now I'm feeling a little bit better and I feel like I could talk about it more. I did try to film this video last night and it just did not go well. I just got super like bumble jumbled. So we're here again and we will chat and all that good stuff. So um, I'm just basically going to talk to you guys about like, so I don't know. 
I, I'm trying to figure out how I want to start this. I like, I never, I never really know. Um, so like I was saying, college has been like kind of a lot for me recently. It's just like being in my upper level classes, um, you know, try to balance that and I work at school as well as I'm heavily involved in a club and then try to manage like having free time and a social life as well as like YouTube and crocheting and knitting and all that. It just like, you can't do that forever. At some point something's gonna have to give and it just came to the point where I was just like, I can't, like the honest God, last thing I wanna do right now is think about like picking up my knitting needles or picking up my crochet hook and working. It, it was like, it became dreadful. Um, for me, burnout feels a lot like that. Like it is like, it has been the biggest task in the world. I simply cannot bring myself to do it. Um, and it just sucks. It really does suck, but you get through it. You know, I did, here I am. I'm, you know, excited working on these projects, but it gets, it's just, it's, it, it's hard. I don't know. Like I just felt really uninspired to like film or like I wasn't really thinking of new projects or like, I don't know. Um, that's, I don't, my words get so jumbled. I'm so sorry, but um, it's, I just, it, like, it, it became work. And like, I get like, this is my job to an extent, you know, like um, I consider, you know, creating to be a part-time job for me, but it never felt like work. And like, that's when I don't like it because even if I didn't decide to like make videos or sell my projects or like monetize on a hobby like this at all it is just a hobby like it is fun for me it is relaxing I go to it as like a stress reliever um and it wasn't like that for the past week um and normally my burnout doesn't last super long I tend to be able to bounce back pretty quickly like I've mentioned this one this past week you know it came and it went um and I think some of the things I did helped that but like for some people I know it's like really quick other people I know it's like it's an extended period of time um so there's no like I don't think any of us have the same experience with that you know um it's very unique to you and your situation and I think being a student really played into mine um because I also feel just like so exhausted with schoolwork that has persisted I still don't want to do my schoolwork it took me three and a half hours last night to do um one assignment which I got it done I got it done realized I missed a question so that kind of sucked but I did get it done at the end of the day and whatever however I just I the last thing I want to do is think about the next assignment I have to do you know I've really hit that mid semester slump but I feel grateful that my want to create came back because that's such an outlet for me you know what I mean um so my point is mine lasted about a week um, and it's just like for me it's just like the last thing I want to do is like even think about crafting um, which just sucks when it's um, what like I want to do it but I don't want to do it if that makes sense I don't know maybe at this point I'm just like I'm just uh, blathering on so I guess I will like move on from like my experience and like I guess I'll talk about like so what I did to like get through it because um, a couple weeks ago like about a little over a week ago I'd say I asked you guys on Instagram to tell me what like to ask me questions about burnout and stuff because um, I was gonna film it and then I didn't so I have those questions but I saw a lot of people asking like how to get through it what I do things to do all that so I was like okay perfect I can definitely talk about that because I'm experiencing it you know so my first tip is above all else just like just stop just like if you have the opportunity to not create I understand for some people it's their job but I'm assuming for most people it's just like a hobby and something fun to do um if you have the opportunity just fully stop just don't don't pick up your projects don't look for new projects to start don't buy yarn none of that just like fully honor your break I'm a big person I'm a big believer in honoring what you want as a person like if I'm craving having a slice of chocolate cake when I go to the store I will look for a slice of chocolate cake 
otherwise my body's going to continue to want it and I'm going to seek for I'm going to seek that satisfaction somewhere else and I won't get it if I need to go to bed at night like if it's 11 o'clock and I need to go to bed early because I'm exhausted I'm going to listen to my body um I think it's really important too because when you have these urges or these like um signs that your body's giving you it's basically you just being like okay hey I hear you I need to like you know fill that quota and for me burnout is okay I need to take that step back and um really let myself not think about like not think creatively like that for a bit so that's my number one thing is like if you can take a break do it um it helps me a million because I'm like okay I'm, I'm fully I'm gonna instead of going all in I'm, I'm going all out you know N a total break not thinking about it because I find that if I try to work through burnout personally I just end up getting more frustrated with my projects I'm counting wrong I'm dropping stitches I'm working really slowly which personally pisses me off um, I don't like working slowly so you know because I can because I have other things to be doing I just end up um, I don't know why my yarn won't pull I just end up taking a break um, you know my yarn's in a really weird area I was like why will it not pull um, but we figured it out where was I going with that I don't know I just like just I just take a break it's fine you don't owe anything to anyone just take that break you so you so deserve it um so that's my number one thing if you can do fully take that break just relax because when you do that you can go into my next tip um like spend time on other hobbies for me I spent this past week ish playing Animal Crossing because the new update came out and I haven't been able to do that in a couple months because I've been at school devoting time to other things now that I take something out of my schedule I can put that back in you know so I was able to fill my cup in a different way that maybe crafting normally does but it wasn't at that time so I could play Animal Crossing and lay in bed and just maybe watch like Twitch or YouTube I could hang out with friends and I could I don't know do like a plethora of things that I couldn't do as often or to the same extent when I was working in my same way um, which is really fun it's like you can get back into other hobbies and like do other things and like I said you're filling your cup still you're still getting that personal satisfaction um, doing something that makes you happy but you're not trying to force it to be crafting you're not trying to force yourself to crochet when you really don't want to at that point it's going to drain your cup it's not going to take from your cup or fill your cup um so do something to fill your cup do something different um and it's fun to like get back into old things i've had such a good time getting back into animal crossing i think a lot of us have been getting back into animal crossing because of the update which is great um so yeah it like for me it was perfect timing i was able to take a step back and just do other things that made me happy and then those things ended up inspiring me and I felt ready to come back when I did um because doing those other hobbies like spending more time outside spending time with friends with, spending time with friends and family um anything like that and literally anything at all can inspire you and like make you want to um get back into your crafting game you know what I mean so that helps a lot I also really tried to stay away from social media that social media like comparison kills and that's all I do on social media. Hi besties I'm back. Um, I always get flustered when my battery dies as I'm filming because then I need to like try to refigure out my camera angle and like how close you were to my face. I don't it's not that big of a deal. We're back. Um, social media that's what we were talking about. I compare myself literally nonstop to other artists on social media, whether it be on Instagram, TikTok, like seeing things on Pinterest or whatever, watching people like publish patterns really is like something that gets me. And I just had to be like, girly, you can check out your feed when you come back. That is fine. The pictures aren't going anywhere. The projects aren't going anywhere. The TikToks aren't going anywhere. Like 
just let yourself fully take a crochet vacation you just you don't need to be keeping up with everything the same way that you do normally um because i see that i'm like oh my god i gotta get i gotta get a groove on i have to work you know even though i don't want to um just because i feel the need to not even like compete with people that's not like i don't think the right word but i feel the need to um fill this like imaginary quota in my head like oh my god they finished a project this week um, i have to i have to finish a project because i have to post a picture like no you really don't like i'm here to tell you you really don't need to do that i know it's fun too i love sharing my projects i love seeing other people's projects it's just it's such a fun community to be a part of until i'm sitting there comparing myself to them which is unfair you know they put their stuff out because they were excited about it i'm looking at it like oh my god i need to be like them neither side asked for this not productive for either side so i stay off of social media as much as i can um it's helpful because i just like if i want to go on social media i'll go on like um, my personal account because i mainly follow like um my friends or like celebrities or whatever i follow less um artists on that account so i can still scroll mindlessly if that's what i want to do um but all in all i try to take a break from social media um however i will admit social media is really nice to come back to when you're starting to feel those feelings of being more inspired um like i was saying when you're spending time with friends and family or you're going like into nature more often and pursuing those other hobbies that maybe you've neglected a little bit um starting to feel inspired again from those can lead you to wanting to look you know put put yarn back on the brain sort of thing so i like going on pinterest and seeing what people are working on like pinterest is one of my favorite places because you could just see so many amazing things um i'll go on like ribbler and i'll check out patterns i'll scroll through my explore page on instagram and see what people have been making um but that's how I like slowly get back into it because then I notice if I'm feeling those like bits of in, uh, inspiration and then I'm like okay I want to dabble a little more seeing what people are working on will then like motivate me and inspire me and I'm like oh my god stunning I want a beautiful sweater like that I'm feeling like motivated to like finish these projects and whatever um so that like social media definitely can help um however sometimes it really is the worst so if I'm feeling that like huge slump, like not feeling, we're not heading back towards um, motivation land, I, I just try to limit my time. Um, I still go on here and there because I like seeing what people are doing, but I try to limit it because otherwise I'm just going to compare myself to them and that's just so unfair um, to put those expectations on myself for something that I'm supposed to be doing for fun. You know what I mean? So that's what I do. Um, it has worked for me. You know, I was able to get out of this funk within like a week or so. Um, I had it over the summer as well where I just like, oh my god, last thing you want to do, get that away from me. But obviously I got out of it. Um, I honestly think just like my best piece of advice is just to like, just take a break. Just stop. Um, you'll come back to it. You will. Sometimes you just need to give your energy to something else and that's fine happens like that sometimes there's nothing wrong with that your project will still be there you will not lose your skills even if you forget how to do like a stitch or something um you can look up like a tutorial you know it's like there's so many tools to make sure that you will still be able to tackle those projects when you come back so i don't know my best piece of advice to anyone going through it is just to like take a break and let you let your mind and body tell you what you do want to be doing um you know listen listen internally it'll tell you like so much um but i think this is a perfect time to now go on let me go on to instagram and look for all of your questions i know a lot of people were just asking about like um what to do in terms of getting through it or like um how to get out of it so hopefully I answer some of your questions. But if you have any more in regards to that, ask me below. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, and I'll answer some of the other questions that people have asked as well. Um, 
Let's see. Okay, this is a good one. How do you power through and finish a project? I either start a new whip or I take a break for a few days. Honestly, love both of those ideas. I like the taking a break thing. You just, you know, really clear the cobwebs. Um, but I find that like if I'm working on something that's taking me a really long time, I need to be able to like bounce back and forth between a couple of things. Um, so if you're working on a sweater, it's going to take you a while. Have another project. Maybe it's like a little bit smaller that you'll finish quicker ready for you to jump into because you still might be in the mood to work you know you still might want to craft in some type of way but you just don't want to work on that project so you can jump to a smaller project like maybe you're making like a hat or a washcloth or a scarf or something you can jump to that work on that for a little bit maybe you'll finish it and you'll get that satisfaction of like oh yes feels so good to finish a project i feel so rewarded and then it will in turn inspire you to want to bounce back to that more long-term project so keeping um, different things at your ready is definitely helpful. Um, but I will say, kind of like I was saying in the beginning of the video, talking about like my own projects, I need to make sure that I don't start too many at once because I then get really overwhelmed. Like there is, I'm sorry, I hate to be the one to say it, there is such a thing as having too many whips. There is such a thing. I will then be like, I want to work on something but I have so many things that I've given my attention to that I don't know which I should prioritize um, because then I fear that some projects will just never get finished. I will just like they'll get tossed into my bed and I will never see them again. So I, I say to have a couple projects going, maybe some smaller ones so you can finish them quicker, get that satisfaction, um, but don't have so many that you're literally overwhelming yourself. You can make a Pinterest board or, you know, an, a photo album on your phone or something of all the projects you want to work on, but please don't start them all at once. You will be so overwhelmed. Please don't, um, for your own good. That was a really good question. Um, let's see. What is my favorite project to pick up when I get burnt out on my current one? Kind of goes with the last question. I just bounce over to a different project. Um one of the projects that I'm working on is smaller like the the project builds up quicker so I'm able to like bounce over to that to um like get that feeling of completion I guess whatever um I don't know sometimes I'll I've never really done like a washcloth or anything like that which is kind of funny I feel like I really like should have started there I always find granny squares to be super therapeutic because they're so monotonous um, I can do them without looking at this point so I can like just hang out and like watch a show um, and you can finish them really quick. So I like doing those when I'm feeling tired but I normally have like three long-term projects that I bounce around with if that makes sense instead of having like a smaller one but washcloths are a good one, hats, scarves even. I know it's like a bit of a bigger project just because of like the size of it but um, I still think you know, if you're just doing basic, like, single crochet, double crochet, whatever, um, a basic, like, what is it called? Stocking net, stocking, stocking net? Someone correct me in the comments because I know I'm wrong. That stitch for knitting, like, the basic, just knitting and purling. Um, even though it's, like, bigger, it's, it maybe it'll take less, like, brain energy. You know what I mean? Hmm. What's the next one? Someone said what they do is they, um just give it time or go to their other hobbies so it's not just me people it is not just me do you struggle with comparing your crochet and knitting journey to other creators on social media yes and I think it does contribute to burnout at times because I'm seeing what other people are doing and I'm like oh my god I need to be doing that I need to be doing that right now so then I go and bite off more than I can chew and then boom I feel exhausted I don't want to pick up any project and if I just reminded myself that there is no correct speed to go at, that my speed is exactly the speed I should be going, I would not have felt that same way. You know, there's no correct timeline. Everything happens um, differently for people. And that's the fun part about it. So just reminding yourself that there's no rush. It is all good. Um, you know, you'll finish your project. Maybe they just work quicker. Maybe they've been doing it longer. 
like you only know a fraction of the story so I definitely would say that comparing myself to other people has been um it has it has caused me to struggle more with um you know not only feeling uh good about my own journey and progress but it also makes it hard because I'm like oh my gosh I have to be doing more to the point that I do more and that I just end up feeling um pretty nasty and gross and burnt out <sighs> so just just it's so hard not to compare it's I feel like so natural to do it I do it even as I say not to um but I don't know just constantly remind yourself that like your your path is exactly the one you need to be on I promise like it really is even if like you feel like oh my god but I want to be like them it's like then keep practicing and you will be you know they could have been working at their craft for like the past 10 years you don't know so um don't compare don't do it nothing good comes from it hmm next question so I do see a couple of people asking about how I deal with wrist and finger pain. Um, I don't know if this like totally relates to burnout, but like I, I guess it kind of does. Like if you're in pain, you don't really want to work. Um, you know, I'll toss it in. Why not? So I don't know. I I hold my hook weird. So my hand gets like, because I hold it like this or whatever. I, I can never imagine it in my head. Um so it's not like I hold it like this and my hand gets cramped like this my hand gets cramped my fingers so what I do is I tend to like just lightly push back you know stretch out my fingers stretch out my uh wrists my palms I'll also like you know go like this some circles like figure eights honestly just like just really like opening my hands my hands look so big when I do this um and that's I guess what I do. I don't know if those are good, bad, or um, super common, or I don't know. You guys tell me what you do. That's what I do, and it helps me. Um, I tend to go like this the most, though, just to, like, wiggle them out. Hmm. Okay, what is a good strategy for avoiding burnout with holiday gifts? I think this is similar to just avoiding burnout with long-term gifts um, or long-term projects I should say having a couple going at once is helpful because then you can just be like okay I'm gonna work on this hat for you know my friend and work on this hat for my mom and I'm gonna work on um, that scarf for my dad or whatever um, you can bounce around to different things and you know you'll probably feel motivated for each project um, at different points and then you'll be able to get three done because sometimes it can be really hard to just like sit down and get a project done sit down and get a project done so if you have the opportunity to um, work on a few at a time I would say do that because then you will uh, be able to jump around when you're still in the mood to craft but you're really like oh my god I cannot stare at this blue yarn anymore um, that helps me I'm gonna you know bounce around from project to project just to um, keep my interests up I guess Okay, this question is also really good. Um, are you also feeling pressure to constantly create and be productive with crocheting? I am. Yeah, all the time. I think social media plays a part of that. You know, the comparison, seeing someone finish a project seemingly all the time um, makes you feel like you have to get one done. But just work on your own pace. Um, it doesn't help, you know? Like, I sometimes sometimes you're in that great mindset of like I am on my own path it is fine I am exactly where I need to be there's no reason to rush this like sometimes it's super easy to think like that other times it's not um you might just want to like end up taking like a little bit of a break or um even if it's just a social media break even if it's not like a project break because you'll probably end up feeling better about you know not getting your projects done as quickly as other people because um, it really does suck when you are trying to just get anything finished and you're thinking oh my god I'm not doing this fast enough 
I'm not doing this well enough. I'm not, you know, at the level that I wanted to be or anything. You know, it gets really exhausting. Um, so just like take a break from social media. Try not to compare yourself to other people, other people's journeys. And then um, give yourself a break if you need it. You know, don't, don't let this hobby that you do for fun become a chore. It's just not worth it. Um, if it's not fun, don't do it. Life is way too short for that. Do not waste your time doing things that you don't wholeheartedly enjoy. Um, you deserve to just like, you deserve to be happy and to do things that you um, want to do and fill your cup up. I know I keep saying that, but I'm a firm believer in filling your cup. Okay, I think this is gonna be the last question. And it's a really good one. This is for my student friends. Um, how do you manage to crochet and study at the same time? Um, when I figure out, I will tell you, because <laughs> I really don't know a perfect solution. I guess it is just the prior, like understanding that you have to prioritize self-care, you know, in college. For me, it's so easy to get wrapped up in taking a shift at work and then running to this club event and then I need to get homework done and I should probably get ahead on this project and what do I have to do next week and all of that. Um, but it's taking the time to realize, okay, I've actually done so much today. I've gone to all my classes, which is an accomplishment. I did homework for those classes. Um, I worked yesterday or maybe I also got a shift today. That doesn't matter. No matter how much or how little you get done in a day, you should still be prioritizing self-care. You shouldn't overwork yourself. I don't know if any of that made sense. <laughs> um, I have a tendency to overwork myself and just work so much that I am um, just totally burnt out after a while. Um, but I found that it does help prioritizing my self-care, prioritizing me time and being like, listen, I know I have 20 other things I can think of off the top of my head that I wanna do right now but I have not given myself any time to just be with me today. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to sit with my project, even if it's just for 10, 20, 30 minutes, and I'm just gonna work. I'm gonna get a couple of rows done. It's not as much as I wanna do, and I know that, but it is something. You know, it is, it's better than not doing it at all. Um, sometimes you may feel like you have to be as productive as you are when you're home on breaks, as you are at school. Just gonna shake that mindset out. Um, I will let you know when I shake mine out. <laughs> I still feel like that all the time. I still feel like I have to be putting a video out every week and finishing projects and starting new ones and writing a pattern and blah, 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 blah. All while doing all the things that I do while I'm here at school. Um, and it's just like, it's so not possible. Um, that's just, you just can't do that, friend. You just can't. So um, shake that mindset and just remind yourself that at the end of the day, life is short take 30 minutes to crochet some rows you know get some crack away at that project you will still have plenty of time to do your homework you'll still be able to pick up a shift you'll still make that club event you'll still all of it you know you, everything will get done um but if you're not looking after yourself no one will so make sure that you do make sure that you're taking care of yourself drink water eat your uh, meals have some snacks go to class and get your work done that's that's my best tip um however i feel kind of stupid uh telling you guys to do all this because i too don't know how to balance it yeah um, so when when i learn when i learn officially we'll circle back and we'll re-talk about this again um but for now i hope i hope anything i said makes sense i am genuinely so midterm brained that i don't know all all my words are just coming out as like um like like I dumped Scrabble out and it's just a pile of letters. That's how it feels. Um, but I hope that you guys were able to get something out of this. Um, I hope that you enjoyed sitting and relaxing and hanging out. I've had a great time being able to sit and chat with you guys and fill you in on what I've been doing, what projects I've been working on, all of that good stuff. Um, and thank you so much for bearing with me as I'm going through or I went through my own little period of burnout and I'm just so busy with school. Um, but I have so many fun projects coming. I didn't work on my Taylor cardigan at all. As we were sitting here talking, I picked it up at one point hoping to, um, but I will be going to do that now. So 
um, that is all I have for you guys for this week's video. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe for some more good vibes and hit that post notification bell if you want to know every single time I post a brand new video. Uh, I love you all so very much and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye everybody.